Hey guys, what's going on? Tyler here with your movie fix, and today we're going to be going over some items in the world of DC movie news. As usual, always fun to talk about. Today we have two stories going on with Patrick Wilson joining the Aquaman movie in 2018, and Ben Affleck talks a little more about what's going on with the production of his Batman movie. So, yes, going on with that first story, Patrick Wilson joining Aquaman, which is going to be hitting theaters in October of 2018. This isn't really too big of a surprise, I guess. Um, it's really, really nice to hear. I guess the only surprising part about this is that he was already in Dawn of Justice, which you already, some of you may know, is that he was actually the voice of the president when they, when they called to launch the nuke. Um, so I was just unsure if they were actually going to use him again because they did use Carla from Watchmen who plays the older uh, Silk Spectre. She was the voice of Keelex, some of the Kryptonian robots. So I thought, okay, well they are using her. And they've already got Billy Crudup who's going to be playing Barry Allen's father who is Dr. Manhattan, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who is the comedian, is Batman's father, uh, Thomas Wayne. So they've been bringing in a lot of those Watchmen cast, and I think it's only a matter of time before they bring in Jackie Earl Haley or uh, really anyone else. So with them using him as the president, I guess I just didn't quite see it coming, but it is James Wan, and if you know James Wan, he is uh, not very shy of using Patrick Wilson in his movies. Patrick Wilson has been in both uh, The Conjuring series and Insidious. That's pretty much a big thing that propelled him in his career, you know, in between doing Watchmen, and I think this can really only be a good thing because he's going to be playing Orm, who is Arthur Curry, Aquaman's half-brother. He is a full-blooded Atlantean. They have a very uh, big sibling rivalry that's pretty similar to the Thor and Loki relationship with someone feeling that they are worthy to the throne. Uh, you know, Orm's always trying to unsurp him, and I think that this really concludes that we are going to be probably getting the Throne of Atlantis storyline with Orm you know, on the rise into getting the, he's going to become king of Atlantis, and it's really up to Arthur to stop that. And his mother, even their mother is very aware that Orm is very power hungry. He's a very power hungry type of character. So seeing that relationship and going forward with a possible throne of Atlantis movie, we've been hearing rumors that that was what's going to happen. But I think having Orm in the movie, who is the, no doubt going to be the main villain, maybe throw in some Black Manta there. But I think this is nothing but good news. Patrick Wilson is a great talent. And also now kind of seeing we have Patrick Wilson as Orm and Amber Heard as Mira. I think we have a better idea that yes, the, the Atlanteans are going to be portrayed more as a, a standard Caucasian type people like they always have been. So that's going to be very interesting thing with what they're going to be doing with Jason Momoa who we know he is going to be of a more Polynesian descent and I think that's going to add in to some of the more rivalry between them thinking that he's, he's an outsider and uh, he's, a, he's a halfling, he's only half Atlantean, half human, but that human part of him being Polynesian with them believing in the water gods and all that, that's going to be a very interesting uh, mix into the movie. And moving on to Ben Affleck discussing his Batman film, he did a Q&A yesterday morning and discussed what's really going on with the movie. And he says, We still have to get a screenplay and get it together. I'm a real believer in not reverse engineering projects and meet a window or a date, but rather when you get the right story, the right idea, and the right thing, then you make the movie. That's what we're doing and I'm hoping to get that done. I'm spending a lot of time working on that, but also working on other stuff. I think those should be rather encouraging words to hear that he does want to make it and do this right. Although it's not fun to hear that we still have to get a screenplay together. Him and Jeff Johns have been working on one for well over the last year. So I think that's just a, him saying that we don't definitely have one put together. But there's something out there in the space of what's going on with this Batman movie. There's a script, screenplays going on, rough drafts. Those have all been drawn up. I think they have the general idea of what the story is going to be. But knowing that he does want to get everything right before he makes it and that's what he believes, that should be encouraging even if that means we have to wait just a little longer because, you know, the longer and longer that this goes on, I almost feel like we're only going to get one standalone Batman movie out of Ben. That's just, it's just what I feel like is maybe going to happen, at least for him directing only one that himself. But he had this to say also, If I could, there's nothing I'd love more than to direct a standalone, iconic, great Batman movie. It's been done. Chris Nolan did three really great movies, I'm mindful of that. I'm not in a hurry to jam the mediocre movie down the pipe. I really want to make sure if we do it, we get the great version and that's worthy of tradition of guys like Tim Burton, Christopher Nolan, and Christian Bale. Again, Ben Affleck knows and he's very careful about what he's saying. 
Uh, I think he's very mindful and I think he's very respectful for all these other past creators for Batman such as Christopher Nolan and Tim Burton. I think he's aware of the pop culture status of where those movies stand, that they are on pretty high up on pedestals and that he does want to be able to create um, what's going to be a classic just like they did. You know, you can look at Tim Burton's movies, of course those two are classic Batman movies and of course Christopher Nolan's epic trilogy that he was able to do um, from 2005 to 2012, those movies will definitely be remembered in the ethos of Batman movies. So no doubt those will become classics, but it's nice to know that, he, like he said, I don't want to just create a mediocre movie and shove it down there. That's not what he wants to do. That's, that's really encouraging. So those were his comments that he had to say on the Batman movie. I couldn't agree more with everything that he has to say. But leave your comments down below. What do you make of what's going on with the Batman movie? Are you okay with waiting a little longer if it means that we're going to get the better movie? And, you know, that's, that's the idea. That's what we hope can happen. And also, what do you think of Patrick Wilson joining Aquaman for 2018? This has been your Movie Fix, guys. Be sure to comment your thoughts down below. Let's discuss. And if you want more movie news, movie reviews, all that good stuff, I'll see you guys on the next video. Be sure to subscribe.